even gonna lie yeah, I've had this camera for a hot minute now and you know what yeah I still don't really know the pattern fam bare buttons I haven't even like tested out I'm just be just recording and that's it right now I'm just winging it let me not lie but yeah welcome back to my channel obviously it's Malta man a man's back with another banger hey look if you've ever liked one of my videos smash the bumper clock like button and you know what if you haven't subscribed to my channel by now, what are you doing? What are you actually doing? Make sure you lot go subscribe to my channel because yeah, like obviously content creator, YouTuber, all that shit. Nah, I'm a content creator. Fuck it. Do you know what? Before I actually get into the video, I got a bone to pick. I don't like bones. That shit gets stuck in your throat. Then you're <laughs> you see you woman, yeah? Why is it when you're with your man, like your boyfriend, you're with your man in it, yeah? And you see other man, why do you look? I'm not talking about the looks like, uh, let me give you like, an example, yeah? This is I, in it. Cool, but these women will do this while they're with their man. Like, pick a boo. Do you know how awkward that shit is? Getting man into trouble when I don't even know your blood clot, fam. But anyway, today's video. What am I gonna be talking about in today's video? I'll be real, I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video, but it's gonna be some shit along the lines of games on end. Now, if you're wondering, what in the bumper clock does that mean? So am I, let me not lie. Nah, real shit, yeah. If you ever grew up in London, grew up on the ends, grew up on a state, even the hood, like if you're from the US and that, if you grew up in the hood, you may have played some of the games I'ma mention. But I didn't grow up over there, I grew up here. In London. So, like, yeah, obviously, these are a couple of the games and shit we used to play in that. So, yeah, if you look here, yeah, if you know about scrambles, thumbs up the video. It wasn't everyday knockdown ginger or knock knock some shit. There was some other word for knockdown ginger that I saw the other day. And I was just thinking, where were you lot? Because at the end of the day, we used to call it knockdown ginger. Do you know what I'm saying? If you know another, if you know another word for that game, like if you know another name for that game. Comment below because there's other names for that shit that have me like, what the f- You know what, yeah, man bought this t-shirt today and I still got the- Oh shit. <laughs> you know you gotta do that. Obviously it wasn't everyday knockdown ginger, happy slaps, dashing water balloons at people, riding your BMX, you know what I mean? Growing up on the end, yeah, everybody had the same BMX. I think it was from Halfords fam. Either the blue one or the red one. I had the red one. These are some official games that we used to play on ends, innit? Enjoy it. Who remembers Blow to Blow? Bro, that sounds fruity. Blow to blow was the game where you would get a dead arm. Some donnies even done it to the face. Now nah, I'm chatting shit. I never saw that. Yeah, I know there were a couple of dons that probably got it very excited and just went, Hey yo, you man, fuck that. Let me bang you in your face. Yep, time for me to go. I am playing that game. And let me you, man. Let me explain the game, you know. Blow to blow was a game where you will punch your friend on the arm and they will punch you back. But you go harder. This game sounded real fruity, you know. Blow to blow, going harder with your man that Ross Clark. The worst case scenario when it comes to playing blow to blow is when olders will come and be like, aye, aye, what, 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 you man playing blow to blow, yeah? I say no more, fam. What, who wants to play? Everybody evaporates. I turned into Spider Man. You see that brother right there? Yeah, that's me, Spider Man. Imagine I found this shit the other day with all my other old stuff in it. This was me. This was me, you get me? If you play blow to blow on ends, I know for sure you was going home like this. Oh shit, that was called a dead arm because obviously like, man will just punch you, do you know what I'm saying? For about three minutes, punching your arm. Obviously those at Donda got bare excited. Donny was just there like, don't flinch in it because you man will be like, oh no, chill, chill. <laughs> Donnie's will be like, no, don't flinch in it. So they'll pattern it up and be like, all right, cool, say no more. And they'll act like they're gonna go like, yeah. But then after that, they will do this. But it's always that done with the fat hands that wanna come do the Oh yeah, you man, come and play blow to blow Nah, nah, let's go on diets I remember one time I saw a couple of girls playing blow to blow And I was just standing there like, why do I feel like the girl? Because I ain't on, I ain't on this shit, like honestly I what, do you wanna play blow to blow? Nope, fuck that Because you know for sure, these girls had hands You had to just look at somebody's hands to know if there was about that shit I knew a couple of dons that had no knuckles Some or maybe like one knuckle missing Because of the times they punch people up And I'm just thinking it's you that wanna play blow to blow of my skinny self You know what, I'll be referee, yeah? I'm quite happy being referee in it. Everybody knows a brother like this I what, who wants to play blow to blow? He was there doing that shit before we actually played the game He, he was, all that is for preparation Scramble, scrambles. If you know about scramble, yeah? 
thumbs up the video. Scramble is a game that I didn't really participate in, but I always found myself in the mix. I don't want to be here, fam. Like, honestly, let me tell you a little story, yeah? I remember the first day at school, okay? It wasn't the first day I'm chatting shit, but it was like one of the first days, in it where I didn't really know. Do you know what I mean? So boom, innit, yeah? Obviously it's lunchtime now, innit, yeah? And you know when you put that nuggets and chips in your um your pocket and go outside and kick ball and that? So that's what I was doing, kicking ball while I was eating the nuggets and that. Next minute now, I hear this. Luckily I got a one pound. So look, I hear this, yeah? But obviously, on concrete. Best believe, man a man seeing dons come out of the bumper class. Sky, the concrete, the football kit, I'm thinking, rah. I what what what? I lose the f I'm looking around like this. Is this a movie set? Because how did we were just kicking ball? I'm trying to finish off my nuggets, but now I feel sick because I don't know what's gonna happen next. All of these dons must have started punching up each other in front of man. My first instinct was get the fuck out of that place, fam. Did I get out? No, I got dragged in. I'm thinking, brother, I'm just here kicking ball, you know. I don't know what to do in it. Next minute, some new comes over. This Donny had powers. He comes over in the mix and does this. And walks away. After that, I was chatting to one older and he must have told me that, yeah, like, that shit's called scrambles, innit? So anytime you hear, like, money dropping that, it's either you be in the mix or you get out quickly, innit? Because... Donnies don't care in it, do you know what I'm saying? Donnies were there chucking 1p's, 2p's, 5p's, 20 p 20p scramble. Your net worth actually went up if you found that 20p. Have you ever been in a scramble where people chucked a multiple of coins? That scramble was forever lasting. Real <laughs> shit. Anyway, for all you new ones and that that don't know, let me explain the game of scramble. Right, so basically, yeah, if somebody chucks, so somebody chucks a coin on the ground, you fight to get the coin. That's literally the game. Obviously, it sounds mad now, isn't it? Like, raw, you man are that broke, but yes, the fuck we was. Now, but in all honesty, yeah, if you're prepared for that game, it's cold. If you're not prepared, oh my days, you can actually get your jaw spun. In one of my other videos, I must explain the game of Nutmeg Rush, in it. Now, Nutmeg Rush is basically a game where you're kicking ball, and whoever gets nutmeg, so the ball goes through your legs, you get beat up. A lot of these games are aimed for you to get smacked up, like seriously. I know for sure it was on Sour Don that made one of these games, fam. Them Donnies that just like to be in trouble because all of these games ended off with somebody getting beat up. <laughs> one time you don't want to play Nutmeg Rush when olders come about talking about, are you man? How me play Nutmeg Rush? When you hear that, get out the football cage or wherever you are in it. When you play nutmeg rush of olders and that, yeah, it doesn't apply to them. If you nutmeg them, you think you can beat them up. And then Donnies are just there like, what, touch me? Yeah, go on, don't be shook. If you fall for that, you punch them, you may not be seen again. Couple Dons it happened to. You. I ain't seeing them again. D did they get deported? Did they just, I don't know, what happened? Next game on end, yeah, let's talk about the cussing matches. Now, obviously, looking at it now, it was mad, in it? Because there wasn't no filter. You know nowadays you've got to bite your tongue and watch what you say because people are so bumper clock sensitive and that. Them games on ends, you think anybody knew about sense? Cussing matches built a lot of bumper clock character, and I was the one to instigate. So when somebody parred somebody, even if it was dead, it could have been the most driest part of the year. I'm still there like, oh, you got... Boy! No, you actually got Don't have it. If you say that to somebody on ends, pressure. No, I, I. And if you tap them like, no, no, I wouldn't have it, you know. What, are you gonna stand there and have this, this, this dickhead? <laughs> oh my days. What was the thing we used to say when somebody got parred? Ooh! Imagine getting parred, yeah, and the par is crusty, but if somebody says, Ooh, you'll feel that shit. Back then, what's the deepest par that you can ever say to somebody? Yeah, you cussing my nose, yeah? All right, cool. Your mum in it. You see your mum. Don't ever bring people's mum into this shit. Obviously, some people can take it and cuss your mum back. Then you start crying, although you started it. But when people involve mums in that, it's actually long. Say no more. All right, say no more in it. But your mum. You don't have to say anything after that. If somebody says, but your mum is a part. Next game on ends that I used to see Donnie's playing that because all the other games I used to play that shit But this one it was more like the olders cuz they had the money and that in it who knows about I think it's called penny up the wall I think it's called that basically all you dons and that get back from a wall in it Yeah, and obviously all you lot get a coin in it could be one pound could be 5p 1p whatever in it Yeah, and you throw it against the wall and like whoever's coin 
stays more to the wall, then they get all the money that everybody threw in it. So yeah, that was Penny Up The Wall. I think it was cool that. If you lot played any of these games, make sure you thumbs up the video. Hopefully you can relate to the video. You learned some new shit about the games that we used to play in London. Do you know what? There's all these other games in that, so I may make a part two in it. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And yeah, man, make sure you lot go follow me on my socials and that is going to be there. I'm always like doing... Do you know what? Wherever it is, it's going to be there, innit? Yeah, stay safe in that, innit? In a bit.